The shortage of dialysis machines at the Confanochi Teaching Hospital has created significant challenges within the renal unit with only two functioning machines currently operational. For, for several it's years, okay. doctors have expressed their concerns as the malfunctioning dialysis machines have not been replaced. These limitations severely hampers the ability to provide effective treatment to kidney failure patients placing the Ashanti region's primary tertiary facility in jeopardy. Our bureau chief for the Middle Belt, Edward Apomafu, reports. Not only the Ashanti region, but also over 10 other regions in Ghana. Despite a significant increase in reported cases of kidney failure, the hospital's dialysis machines, which have been non-functional for years, remain unreplaced, leaving the hospital with only two working machines. In response to the multitude of challenges in treating kidney cases, the hospital has been forced to refer many patients to other peripheral facilities incurring higher costs in the process. The renal unit at Cath can only manage a limited number of acute kidney cases. Dr. Elliot Cranton Tano, a consultant nephrologist at Cath, shares his concerns about a situation where patients redirected to other facilities frequently return with unexplained complications that jeopardize their lives. He urgently calls upon authorities to prioritize the provision of dialysis machines, particularly as the unit undergoes renovation. All we have um, is uh, two machines uh, for a hospital uh, with a capacity of 1,200. So I think that is a huge challenge. You'll be only given the opportunity when you are on admission. Okay, because the machines are few and only a few unstable patients who will be discharged and they can still get the opportunity to come get their dialysis done at the Confanochi Teaching Hospital. Otherwise, they would tend to rather to go to other peripheral hospitals to continue their care. Um, the challenge with that is that it leaves us as the nephrologists who are managing the patients with less control because what happens is that you've seen your patient now your patient is getting dialysis at another facility and sometimes they might come with complications you cannot explain because you didn't have a lot of control as the patient went into those facilities. I think when we started off we had about eight or so machines um, as of uh, 2016, I think when I came back, a few of them started breaking down. Um, uh, some company brought some few machines and again, consumables issues, you know, uh, also run into trouble. Um, so uh, from the onset in itself, in terms of numbers, it's not been too great. Dr. Elliot Cranton Tano also highlights the issue of health professionals, especially specialists in the field, leaving the country. He emphasizes the need for a comprehensive approach to kidney care. The other bigger issue is workforce in terms of the people who are going to work. One, there are very few nephrologists in the country. We didn't have a lot of dialysis nurses, uh, but the few we had, we trained to some level. Again, because of economic conditions, uh, they virtually are leaving. And as I speak, the rest are also on their way. And I'm sure we all know the brain drains of us nurses are concerned. So that's also another big issue that I feel that we are not highlighting enough. Because sometimes if we are not careful, as we discuss, oh, we need machines, we need machines. And again, um, then they give you 20 machines. And then now there's no workforce to be able to deal with it. So that has just been the, the difficulty. So what I would say is that we need to look at this whole issue of kidney care a bit more holistically. In my opinion, let's start off with, listen, how can we help people know what they need to know to prevent themselves from getting it? I think it's, the, in my opinion, the, the cheapest and the most effective way. Professor Samson MG, a kidney specialist and president of the Ghana Kidney Association, who also works at CAF, sheds light on the critical problem of kidney failure among children in a recent interview with City News. He urges relevant stakeholders to address this concern as many children diagnosed with a condition suffer due to their parents' inability to meet the financial obligations associated with treatment.